Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's tea time, episode 1313. Uh, I'm going to eat the sandwich too, but I'm going to eat the sandwich and then cut it so that it just jumps to me doing the tea review. Uh, but it is episode 13. Before we get started, before we sip our tea, we must have some water that is at the appropriate temperature. Let's uh, let's get our kettles or <laughs> or make a fire or whatever your situation is. And let's uh, let's get some water water boiled. The sandwich is pretty good, um, but yeah, back at it. Uh, as our water boils, <laughs> let's uh, let's go over today's tea. Today's tea is Earl Grey by Bigelow, a classic. It's a black tea. It has caffeine, and there are twenty tea bags to the box. Let's now read this tea's description. Carefully selected ingredients. What makes our Earl Grey so special is simple. We have worked with the same family in Italy for more than 40 years. They know the secret to harvesting the finest bergamot fruit as well as the key to gently processing the oil which results in an, in an, an exceptional flavor. Their craft is truly world class. Signed by the Bigelow family. Uh, what you may have heard at the end of that description is um, my buzzer going off. Uh, that was uh, sneaker uh, delivery. Let's open up these sneakers. This will be a little, uh, what do you call it? A little side chapter? A little side, uh, what is it called in GTA when you do uh, like a side mission? So this will be like a little side mission of our uh, thing. Let's open this up. Cool, let's open these. Let's open this. It's a box. It's not these boxes. Carefully. What I've uh, started to do a little bit, I used to do back in my high school days, is in, uh, invest in sneakers, so resell them. But I guess I'm going to make a new video about this. Hopefully the tea, <laughs> the tea, the people interested in tea here are still with me. Um, what I'm hoping uh, is to create a nice little series channel about my investments in terms of sneakers and the way in which I want to invest and I'm interested uh, in investing. So this is awesome. I just want to make sure to be careful with these. Take it out of the gosh darn box. Should be size nine. Cool. Beautiful. Wow. Cool. Whoa, these look sick. <laughs> All right. These are called orange, the orange skeletons. This is a this is a Halloween drop by Nike. I'm gonna check these out more when I get the chance. But let's get into get into some tea again. Uh, but these are really interesting drop. Uh, Nike the past three years has dropped skeleton sneakers they all have uh <coughs> varying um glow-in-the-dark soles and this cool uh <coughs> this cool like uh ink inked uh drawn um uh, skeleton foot on the inside and also the sides and the medial side so really freaking cool um shoes that i'm gonna keep uh keep on ice for a little bit and uh hopefully in a year they'll be worth about a hundred dollars more that's my guess. So yeah. Anyways, let's get back into some tea. Cool. Uh, now that that side mission is completed, uh, we've just read the description of the tea. Now let's read the instructions. Uh, two steps to a great cup. Be sure to start with fresh cold water and bring to a rolling boil. Pour over tea bag. Steep for two minutes or whatever time you like. Remove bag, but no squeezing, please. For iced tea by the glass, Steep a little longer, pour over ice. And the CAFO meter here shows uh, black tea. This is a black tea and it has 30 to 60 milligrams of caffeine. Quite an episode this is becoming. Um, I've added our tea bag to our boiling water. Let's wait the recommended two minutes and then try out our tea. Uh, 
SRT boils, also wanted to mention this, SRT boils, SRT steeps. Uh, I wanted to mention that um, it's important never to drink tea on an empty stomach. Uh, in my experience, I actually can get sick from that, uh, regardless of the type of tea. Uh, also, um, important uh, if you're sensitive to caffeine or in general uh, your body reacts in some way to caffeine, uh, it is recommended that you drink tea or whatever is caffeinated four to six hours at least before you go to sleep. And this is what I am attempting to execute now. <laughs> so, um, trying to follow that. Uh, also, wanted to mention I don't know what this plant is bergamot fruit but this must be what makes earl grey tea which is why it's mentioned on this box i have to do some googling um but yeah i am interested yeah okay cool so it says in the front here hand-picked black tea delicately blended with real oil of bergamot from Calab calabria italy so our recommended two minutes is up I think I went a little bit over, maybe 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Please forgive me. Um, let's try out this tea and, uh, and see how it makes us feel. This is a classic tea, uh, but let's try to be as um, critical, uh, appropriately critical as we can be. This tea has that classic, classic taste. Like I said before, slight orange, lemon, zest. No, uh, no acidity, really. You just kind of get a really nice aroma. I think that's what Earl Grey tea is, uh, can be best described as an, an aromatic black tea um, that has, yeah, that slight lemony aftertaste and, uh, well, taste altogether. Yeah, this tea reminds me very much of morning time, spending time with friends, loved ones. It has, uh, yeah, quite an effect on my memory for some reason. But to be honest, uh, this tea isn't as flavorful as I wanted to wanted it to be. Uh, it could just be this company, Bigelow, although their green teas are particularly flavorful and rich. Um, this tea has a nice balance, but it's not um, it's not going all the way there for me. Wish it had more flavor-packed action. Uh, could just be that we haven't steeped it long enough, but to be honest, I think if they recommend two minutes here, um, then we're not really going to get much more from the tea uh, after the allotted time. This tea gets a 7-2. It's not all that. <laughs> I I remembered Earl Grey tea being my favorite of favorites, and I hadn't had it in a very long time. Uh, could just be the brand, uh, but it's not really doing that much. Maybe it's that I, when I had it as a kid or or in my teenage years, I always had it with some type of sweetener, sugar or honey. Maybe that helps you know uh, bring out some flavors. But to be honest, uh, tea. Uh, the reason I drink all these teas without anything added is I, I want it, I want the tea to be great by itself. And although this tea is balanced, I wouldn't necessarily call it great. Um, it's it's a cool uh, uh, after dinner, uh, during breakfast tea kind of thing. Uh, nice for, uh, feels like you're getting stuff done in the day. Like it's a progressive tea. Like it's a tea that's moving with your life. Not like a slow down tea, like a uh, celestial seasonings, whatever you have, how you have it. What are you? Supposed to, I forget what I'm, what the saying is. Um, how you have it, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's not all the way there. Uh, seven two. Uh, it's nice, but it's not everything. And I guess that's it. Uh, thanks so much for sitting, standing, running with me. <laughs> Hope you uh, enjoy this tea. Maybe you like this tea better than me. You know, I, I want to hear more from. Uh, more from you guys about what kind of teas you like uh, and if you're sipping the same tea with me um, as uh, an ambulance drives by uh, but that's about it 
Um, hope your guys' life's lives are moving uh, as you'd like them to. And, you know, take it day by day. Grow a little bit. Get, uh, get some stuff done in this area of your life or this area. Or just, like, you know, take time for yourself, you know. We all got to remember to uh, express and uh, practice more self-love. So with that, I say good afternoon and good evening. And uh, we'll see you in hopefully a couple of days, maybe one day. See what I can get done. But uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs>